Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at the idea of a limb soup or the limit of supremums and what it means for a sequence A sub n. Well, let's look at an example. Let's look at an example of the sequence A sub n is equal to this right here. And um, we're gonna assume that it starts at n equals one. And um, notice that it'll actually bounce around up here, down here, and so forth, kind of where this is around these lines, y equals zero, one, and negative one, bouncing kind of back and forth. And it keeps on going like this forever along these, the top getting close to one, the bottom getting close to negative one. Now, what is this mean right here? Soup means supremum. Which roughly in some sense can be thought of as maximum, but not exactly. Maximum of what? Of something. Well, um, in particular, what if we had a set of uh, numbers written as an in interval notation? So all the numbers from negative one, not including negative one, but up to one, including one. This set right here has a maximum value, a biggest element of the set, it's one. If, however, I made this bracket a parenthesis, it wouldn't, or uh, that's a plus one, sorry. That one right there would no longer um, be a maximum, but it is a supremum. A supremum is the smallest number that's bigger than all the numbers in the set, that's greater than or equal to all the numbers in the set. So, I mean, all so any number that's bigger than set is is an upper bound. But take the least one, the smallest one, the smallest one that's bigger than everything, up until including every including. Um, it could this particular point could be in the set, but it doesn't have to be. Supremums don't have to be in a set. But notice that one would be the supremum of this set right here. So it's just a way of still getting something that's maximal, even if it's not in the set itself. And supremums exist for every single set of real numbers, as long as you assume that infinity and negative infinity are options. In particular, I think we would only really be concerned with infinity for supremums. Okay, so that's what a supremum is. Now for this statement right here, limit as n goes to infinity. So what this means is we take, think of n as being location to so a particular place. So what if we look right here and we look at the sequence past this point, what's the biggest thing past this point in the sequence? Well, right there. Then maybe this point, what's the biggest thing in the sequence past this point? Well, still right there. Biggest thing past this point, right there. Biggest thing past this point, still right there. And we keep on going. And we look at the, the biggest things past certain points. These are supremums past a point. Supremum past a point. Um, supremum past a point. Notice that it doesn't have to necessarily be something in the sequence, but in this particular example, it is for ease of, of visualizing and, and thinking intuitively. And it's essentially just the maximum beyond a certain point. And this sequence right here, is a decreasing sequence, is the sequence of supremums, and it has a limit. It limits to one. So limb soup of this sequence is actually equal to one. Now, there's a dual notion of an infimum or an infimum um, uh, that does the same, that accomplishes the same purpose, but down below. And just by thinking about kind of guessing what it means. The uh, limb inf of a sub n is equal to negative one. Now, when the limb soup and the limb inf of a sequence are the same, that's when the limit actually exists of that sequence. Limb infs and limb soups always exist for every single sequence of real numbers, as long as we allow the values infinity and negative infinity to, um, to work as either an infimum over an infimum or a supremum. Thanks for watching.